Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this hat hanger that holds six hats. Begin with a wooden dowel or a branch that is approximately 42 inches. We are now placing cords onto the branch. We are going to have five sections. The two end sections, which are the ones I'm working on right now, will be 60 inches long. Go ahead and cut four cords at 60 inches because we're going to place them on both sides of the branch. Next, we're gonna work our way to the middle. These ones will also be 60 inches, so cut another four 60 inches long. I'm using just a regular basic lark's head knot instead of one of the other ones that I've showed you in my past videos that are more secure. The reason I'm using this one is because we're going to need to adjust them as we go once we start putting the hats on the hanger and if you make them too tight it'll be a little too hard to slide them over on the branch and now for your center two you're only going to need two and they're going to be cut 110 inches long don't worry about them being perfect we are just placing them on just so we can get a visual of where they need to be. We'll adjust as we go. We're starting in the center. You're going to cut two cords at 320 inches long. Attach the first one to one of the lark said knots. We're using a square knot and I'm actually going to be doing a spiral square knot for this whole entire center piece. So once you get the first one attached, you're going to continue making that square knot going in the same direction to create the spiral. It takes a while to pull it through since it's so long, so you have to be patient. I'm just showing you the first few that I've done so that you get an idea of what it's going to look like. And you're going to be repeating the exact same thing on the next cord. So remember, you're cutting two cords 320 inches for the center of the hat hanger. And this one is going to be so long because it's going to hold two of the hats. Okay, so just continue the pattern all the way down. And it's gonna start to look like this because I'm using a single ply macrame cord and it becomes so soft and the way it keeps rubbing onto the rest of the cord is just starting to unravel a bit, but it's no problem. You can't really see it once it's done. So it's no problem at all if this is the type of cord you would like to use. Now, I did not count the knots because there are so many. So you're going to measure about 13 and a half to 14 inches down. And then we are going to connect the two and we're connecting them again with a spiral knot. You don't have to use as many as I'm using. I just wanted it to have like a nice spiral in the middle of the design between um, the top hat hanger and the bottom hat hanger, but you could just do a couple if you would like just to get them connected. Thank you. 
Now I do recommend using a little bit longer for all of my measurements. If you're not using, um, if you're using a dowel rod, you should be fine. But if you're using a branch that's any thicker looking than mine, you're going to need to account for that. So you're going to want to add just a few more inches to your measurements. Now we're going to begin the process again, adding those spiral square knots. You're going to be able to tell which ones you're using because they're going to be the ones that are looser. So continue this pattern all the way down on both sides. Okay, once you have another 14 to 15 inches measured, we're going to connect the bottom and this will complete the center of the um, hat hanger. At this point, you can add as many square knots as you would like, just depending on how much spiral you want to show for the bottom, but you can stop at any point or add a few more. It's up to you. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add my hat. I found that it was easier to add them as I was going, just so I can get a good measurement of where everything needs to be. Trim those bottom cords and trim them however you'd like them to be. I just wanted to show you guys the cream that I use because I don't know if you've noticed that your hands get extra dry while you're doing macrame, but I found that this particular dream cream from Lush happens to work very well. And I wanted to just show it to you in case you have a Lush near you. Okay. Now we're going to do some square knots on the top part of the one that goes right after the center. Okay. So I'm just doing square knots, alternating square knots with the cords that were already there. So those ones should be the two that were cut at 60 inches. Okay, let's attach more cord. So because we're using the same pattern on the opposite side of the center, you're going to be cutting four more cords at 220 inches. So you're going to use two on this side and two for the other side of the center. So right now I'm attaching one of them and I'm using alternating square knots. We will be repeating this pattern all the way down until we have about 34 alternating square knots. You're going to do it on this side as well as the side opposite of the center. So both the left and the right of the center hats 
will have the same pattern with the same length and the same cord. Okay, now that you have 34 on both sides, we're going to go ahead and connect them using alternating square knots. Just grab the two pieces, the two outer pieces, and just make as many as you would like. Go ahead and give them a trim and then this is what it should look like. You're going to repeat the exact same thing here on this side to the right side. Okay, now we're at the outer cords. So for the outer cords, you are going to be cutting two cords. You're going to use one on this side and one on the opposite side. So only two at 264 inches. You're going to attach it with an alternating square knot. You only need to make like one or two of them and this is just to get this piece of cord connected to it. To make it a little easier, you can put three of the cords over a hook or off to the side. Now, I am going to be using a vertical lark said knot. I hope that's what this is called. I'm new to macrame, so I'm not real familiar with every single knot but basically you're just gonna start by going over the top and through, and then go from behind and go through. So I'm gonna show you a few times. Over the top, through the back. Pull it nice and tight and secure, and go from the back. Now pull it forward and pull it through. Forward, pull through. back, go over and pull through. And just repeat this pattern. I ended up having 39 knots going down. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side, but the direction is going to change. So you're gonna be taking that outer cord, going over to the left, wrapping it around and pulling it through. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now again, go from the back, go over, and pull it through. And just keep repeating this process until you have 39 knots. Over, pull through. Behind, over, pull through. Now remember, we're doing this exact same design on the other end of this hat hanger. Now, at the bottom, we are going to connect them. Grab your two outer pieces and just wrap them around like you see me doing in the video. Around, pull through. Forward, back, pull through. And you can do this as many times as you'd like. I don't know how many times I did it exactly. And I ended up, um, I actually ended up needing to add more cord to the other side of my hat hangers. The dimensions were fine that I gave you, but I made mine a little too short because I didn't realize that the circumference of my branch was actually bigger 
on the right side of my hat hanger, so I actually lost some inches. So my recommendation is make sure that you're checking your hats, putting them in before cutting anything so you don't have to add any additional cord after the fact. So then I ended up switching it up a little bit and I went from the outer, wrapped it all the way around the other side as you can see before I was doing, I was leaving out the edges, now I'm wrapping all of them. Just do it a few more times, trim to what length you would like it to be. And then repeat the pattern on the other side. And it's going to look like this. I think it turned out beautiful. I hope you love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.